Welcome back. We're working on it now. You'll have your shipment by the end of the week. You have three days. If I don't have it by then, there may be a leak to your American press. I'm sorry, but... Most unfortunate. Steven's men have the woman now. As soon as they get the plasma, they'll... What about Logan? There wasn't time. The UN peacekeeping forces had already arrived when... Another agency screw up. Do you have any idea how close your incompetence has come to killing us all? I am not responsible for the actions of my predecessor. Markinson was not in control. Markinson was your man. As Romer was yours. And what about Gregorov? You were supposed to keep the Russians away from the Farcom warehouses at Kazakhstan. <laughs> You're not going to blame me for your incompetence. The SVR is not under my control any more than Romer's terrorists were. Enough. We all have much at stake. Logan was one of our best agents. He has the highest level of training and years of field experience. It won't be easy. I see. Perhaps I'm not being clear. Success is everything, is it not, Mr. Cochran? It will be impossible to get the plasma from the woman as long as Logan is alive. <laughs> I think you overestimate Mr. Logan's abilities. You were given Mr. Fagan's job because you promised to have phase two of the virus ready in time. It's not my fault that Romer lost the girl before we could extract but the- like Markinson and Romer, you have failed. All right, look. I'm sorry that things didn't go according to plan, but- You see, Mr. Stevens, a simple demonstration. Mara has proven her usefulness. Mr. Cochran has not. Logan will be taken care of. We will have the female's plasma soon. I have an army on the way to Colorado now, and my men are at the airbase with Leon Zing. There will be no more delays. You can take a break, Airman. We'll be done in ten minutes. I'll need to see your ID, sir. We're with FEMA. Do we need to refer to your commander? Uh, no, sir. We'll check on Fagan. You finish the other CBDC agent. Stevens wants us back in New York. Watch her. She's been unconscious for much longer than I would have expected. Their virus should not have weakened her so much this early in its development cycle. I'll head over to the secure hangar and see if the F-22s are back for refueling and ordnance. No. You get over to the main gate and make sure our package gets through unhindered. I'll take care of the pilots personally. Let's see. Two bags of plasma ought to be enough. You won't feel a thing. Yeah! <laughs> No. You're the one who won't feel a thing. <coughs> okay. Now let's find my gear. All right, let's begin. Now we finally get to take the role of Leon Zing, who never got her own game or level until this game, the third game, and the PS2 game, so it's nice to switch it up a bit, even though I still prefer Gabe Logan as my favorite character. Doctor. Yes? Are you finished with him? I've given him the injection. It will take a moment for it to work. Morgan wants you to come check Fagan. I think the last of the serum bags are filled. Let me go check on Leon Singh first. No. Morgan said to come now. Alright, that was a bit of an awkward moment right there. Let's pause and stare at each other for three seconds and move along. <laughs> Alright, let's go into this room and see what they were up to. Dobson. I told you to get back. Why didn't you listen to me? Yeah, I don't know if he's dead or unconscious, but judging by his eyes, yeah, I think he's dead. But yeah, if you were paying attention in the beginning of the game, right before we entered this room, there was a timer counting down to uh, zero. Now, if that timer reached zero, obviously, then Leon would have died because she is still infected with the siphon filter virus. So she needs that adrenaline booster to stop the virus in its tracks. It's kind of like that movie Crank, where the main character, Chef Chelios, was injected by that Chinese poison, and he needed adrenaline to survive, or at least keep himself hyper and energized, or else he would have died too, but basically the same situation with Leon. 
The adrenaline stops the virus in its tracks, or in my words, stop it from crossing the border. I've relieved the guard. We won't be disturbed. Good. Doctor, is your work with him done? Yes, that's the last we need from him. We get the rest from Zing. Then let's tie up a loose end. Unplug him. Wait, I can still use him back at the lab. We still have not fully studied the long-term effects of the virus on certain genetic structures. I can use him to- My orders are to make Fagan disappear when you have finished extracting his plasma. The agency can't risk the government finding Farcom, CEO, infected with an unknown virus. I see. And it doesn't help that he has Aramov's bullet in his brain, You can it? use the girl for your other tests. Fine, if you insist. I'll call the New York labs and see if they're ready for us. I'll go with you. You go on ahead and check on the F-22s. Make sure they have the sarin canisters loaded and ready for a run on the survivors. I'll see what's keeping Holman. Wow. Dr. Elsa got uh, quite the legs there. But yeah, that's quite of a surprise because we assumed that Vagan was dead in the uh, first game because Mars shot him through the head and we presumed that he was dead. But in this game, he's put under a life support system, brain dead, and they were just keeping him alive for uh, Tessa testing the virus, so. Wow. Ooh, be careful not to get spotted by these MPs, because if you do, then they open fire on you. They consider you a threat, or in their words, a terrorist under quarantine. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Those government guys are giving me the creeps. Something's going on in there. Yeah, I know what you mean. They just brought up a couple of body bags, and I got a call from the CO saying the entire base has been quarantined and locked down tight. Yeah, I kind of agree with that guy, because if I was one of these MPs, I would be highly suspicious as well. I'll be back up in a few. They know for a damn fact that these agency guys do not work for FEMA. Because FEMA workers do not go around saying I'm going to load up F-22s for ordnance and refueling. But they probably have that don't ask too many questions or suffer the consequences policy. Gabe? Are you there? Uh, Gabe? Leon, where are you? Are you alright? Teresa? It's good to hear a familiar voice. I'm fine. They're holding me at some civil airbase in Colorado. Where's Gabe? He's run into trouble. Transport's down somewhere in the mountains. Gabe's in trouble? Yeah, but what else is new? I think he's more worried about you than himself. Gabe knows better than to worry about me. Uh, Leon, are you okay? Uh, running on an adrenaline booster right now. Winding down fast. Get this information to him right away. He was right about Fagan. They were keeping him alive, incubating some new strain of the virus. Probably the same strain I'm infected with. They must have injected us both while we were imprisoned in the catacombs. Oh my god! I'm sure that's why they brought me here. They were using this airbase to fly infected test subjects in and out of the states, bypassing international quarantine. Hmm. The agency's also using it to shut down air routes all over the Rockies. <sighs> Makes for a good front. Tell Gabe that the agency lab complex is somewhere in New York. I'm gonna try to find out where. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going to get a chopper, and I'm gonna get out of here. Does Gabe have an evac plan yet? No, he's having me monitor agency radio traffic while he gets to the crash site. I think he's gonna try to requisition a chopper there. Tell him not to. I'll give him a ride myself. Do you have his coordinates? No. We're ready to leave, Airman. Buzz us out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Never mind. I'll get him from the tower. I'm going to head over to the other infirmary and make sure the rest of the plasma has been properly refrigerated. Okay. Our F-22s are coming in now. As soon as I deal with them, I'll meet you at the tower. Alright, now that we got our gear back, let's see what we got. Uh, we got the taser, the 45, and the binoculars. Nice. Now, the hand taser is actually a new addition to the game. We never got it in the first one. Tase him in the ass for doing a shitty job, because I don't know how he did not hear us talking, or coughing at least. I would have at least turned my head around and checked out what was going on back there. Now we're not out of the blue yet. We still have to avoid a few more guards. At least two of them. This is the one that was going out for air because he couldn't take it anymore. 
They know if they ask too many questions, they get the boot to the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the night, or the fear of black Mercedes pulling up in your front house, so... That's what they get paid to do, just keep your mouth shut hey, and Carter, do your job. Five. Buzz me in, would you? Sorry, I tased him. Alright, let's see, I think we only have one guard to deal with. Alright, there's one, we'll wait for him to turn around. You know for a high security prison or hospital, wherever this is, or airbase, it's not really that secure, apart from a few guards. I mean, you would think that they have, like, lasers, security cameras, motion sensors, but no. Just a few guards, and that's pretty much it. Alright, are you gonna turn around now, Mr. MP? Yes. We'll happily roll right next to you, because you can't even hear us. Then he'll stop, and we can tase him. That's the thing with these guards, they always stop so you can tase them. All right, hold it, miss. Stop right there. You don't understand. I'm not a prisoner. You don't know who these men are. You're right, I don't know who they are, but I know they're not from FEMA. Over here. I overheard two of them. They're planning to kill you. You can get out here. Thanks. If you're trying to get to the airfield, it's southwest of here. I'll check in at the security office and cover your absence as long as I can. Good luck. You're taking a huge risk, Airman. I took an oath to uphold the law. Who are these people, CIA, NSA? Not exactly. You don't have much time. Good luck. Thanks again. What a great guy. Yes, I do wish to save my game. Alright folks, in the next episode, we'll see what happens next. I'll see you then.